My oldest best friend is in the studio. Amazing. I Colleen. know. I'm Her name is Tara Mondu. I know you're Tara Shipling. All right? Yeah. <laughs> Tara. You wrote a book. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Can you just tell us the struggle maybe sometimes of being Colleen's best friend? Are you kidding? <laughs> we have the time of our lives yeah, when we yeah. hang out. Do you, do you ever have disagreements we with Colleen? We never, ever have disagreements. No. We've known each other since we were, I'm thinking, like 12, 13. Wow. I've, I knew you for a long time, even before we became friends. But that's definitely true. You were like nine. one of the popular girls who hung out on the other side of the lockers in grade seven. I remember that. <laughs> you know, I'm like, hmm. uh, you and Jen, like, I want to hang out with them. And then, sure enough, next year I got to be their friend. No. <laughs> it's very easy being Colleen's friend. I was just thinking about that this past weekend. One of her girlfriends said the best thing about Colleen is her consistency and how she's always a, a bubbly, wonderful, positive girl, but oh. all the time. And it's uh, it's been that way for, what, 25 years? Yeah. Wow. yeah so. I mean, I'm only 30, so. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know. That's Because <laughs> so. we met each other when we were minus five. Yeah. Right? <laughs> for sure. So look what you did. Yes. I'm holding your book. It's called Little Girl in the Mirror, yep. Kathy's Story. Kathy being your mom. Yep. So when did you decide, hey, I'm going to write a book? Oh, my goodness. Probably <laughs> a couple of years ago is when I decided that I probably should write down some information about the family because I seem to be the one in the family who keeps all the, the information and the stories. And so I thought I should probably write it down for my girls who are in studio here with me so that they kind of know the history of my mom and Your her legacy. mom and her mm -hmm. mom. Yeah. So actually, a friend of mine, Nicole Peterson, as we call her Nikki, mm -hmm. she said, you really should just write it down in a book form. So I, it was a really a long, weird story, but I met a medium, Emma Smallbone, and she was talking to my mother through spirit. Wow. wow. My mother told me I needed to write it. Wow. I ignored her for about a year or so. <laughs> I met Emma again. She said, your mother's here again. She's now giving you heck because you haven't done it yet. So my mom was giving me heck from the other side. I truly believe it. Um, another meeting or two with Emma, and I felt like, okay, I need to write this book. What's the arc of the book? I mean, it's about your family, but is there anything more you can share with us about Yeah, so the story really is about a little girl. So it's my mom uh, when she was between 5 and 10 years old, and her mother, who had her in 1950, so a single, unwed Irish Catholic mother, wow. who tried her best to take care of her baby, felt she couldn't do that. She was living in Brantford at the time, so she went and took her baby back to Cape Breton, where she's from. She gave her baby to her mother, so my great-grandmother, um, but then five years later, she went back to Cape Breton and took her back to Stratford and tried to raise her on her own, and she did her best, but uh, they had some issues, so what they did is they moved into a house where this woman sort of babysat my mother, but she was quite uh, mentally abusive, mm, so the geez. story really is about... Um, my mom's trying to figure out how to navigate those waters with this evil woman. Complicated. Amazing. Yeah. Mm. What advice would you have? And I'm sure thousands of people listening right now going, I think I have a neat family story. I think that I could, I would like to attempt to write a book. Where do you even start? What is your advice to someone who's listening? Well, I think that, you know, I don't want to say anyone can do it because I guess not anyone can do it. Um, you have to be able to you have to have some sort of skill in writing. Doesn't mean you've had to. T I didn't take a course. I I don't blog. I don't you know. But you're I haven't a great written. storyteller. You yeah, always have been. <laughs> yeah, you're good at telling a story, which I think is a gift. Anyway, sorry to cut you off. Well, I think that, yeah, so maybe you have to have that skill of, of telling stories, but I think you need to give yourself the time. You need to clear your schedule. So for me, it was easier because um, I was able to sit up in my office every day for six or seven hours uh, for about 10 weeks just to type That's it all right. out. The story wow. was already in my head, I think. Um, so just the typing out. You need to get yourself um, connected with a good editor. Um, who then will connect you with a good proofreader and designer. I think that's really important. And it's not free. I mean, you do have to have, you have to put some money out first. Mm -hmm. um, you need to pay those designers and proofreaders and editors. So if you don't have four to $8,000 ready to to do that with so, it's yeah. a lot of hustle yeah. that's my side hustle is what i'm calling it. it's a yeah. lot of hustle to try and get these books out but yeah so you need time you need money and you need a passion you need a story yeah you need a really good story well where can people read your story so you can get my story little girl in the mirror it's available online anywhere if you google it it's going to come up in um amazon barnes yeah. and noble chapters there's a few local bookstores where i live cambridge kitchener um a lot of the book takes place in stratford ontario there's three bookstores in stratford right now holding the book oh that's nice, oh, nice. Um, but yeah. amazon you can get it up there right? amazon yeah, and, and you can go on my website which is teramondu.com um, email me and you can too, buy it directly yeah. from yeah. myself yeah well thank you for coming in thanks for having it's me it's pretty amazing i'm proud of you thanks